chances are Indmar, Ilmor, any of those inboard engines uses a pump of this family or possibly even this specific pump. So one thing that happens as these age, the bearings are in one part and the impeller is in another and there's a seal in between the two. When that seal goes bad, you start getting water dripping out from in between here. Now, this is a nice design where when the seal goes bad, it doesn't immediately ruin the bearings because it doesn't flush water through the bearings, but it does cause a leak, which can lead to some other issues down the road. So we're going to press this thing apart and take a look and see if this is rebuildable. I have heard that Johnson peens their housing so that you can't rebuild them, but I'm pretty sure that even with that peen, it's no big deal, and we can pop this thing apart, throw some new bearings, new seals in it, and get this thing back going again, as good as new, or maybe even better. So let me clamp this thing in a vise, and we'll pull this apart. So our first step is gonna be get this stuff off so we can get our impeller out. These are a eight millimeter or five sixteenths for these little brass screws that hold the cover on. As we pop this off, we may get a little bit of water out of there, yep. We got our cover plate and our foam seal. Then we can pull our impeller out. There we go, the right tool for the job. Okay, now with this out, we need to look down in here. We can see our seal way down in there and our shaft. So we need to push this shaft out while supporting this housing so that our shaft here and our bearings and everything slide out. So we've got our double lip seal down in here, our housing and our bearings came out of this side. So I don't see any reason we can't just press fresh bearings into this. Um, Whatever this is on the outside that looks like a little divot. I know on the internet some people said you'd have to drill it out and put a set screw in there or something. I don't see any reason. This is just a press fit housing from the look of things. Uh, nothing looks deformed or modified in any way that you can't just rebuild this pump like any other pump. So, next thing we need to do is get these bearings off of this shaft. So we're going to use that same tool. We got a little o-ring here we can pull, pull off. Let's grab that guy off of there. And then we're basically going to set up our tool the same way on these bearings and push this out of the bearings. So let's see about doing that. All right, I've got a new seal, new bearings, and a new o-ring for this thing. So. Let's get this put together so we can get this boat back going again. Now these Timken bearings, I tend to try and buy a name brand like Timken, SKF, something like that, that I think will have a better quality. I'm pretty confident a lot of these bearings are being manufactured in China now. So, you know, your, your mileage may vary. You could just buy some Chinese bearings. They'd probably be cheaper and they might be the same quality, but I like to use a name brand just for my own peace of mind, and they're not that much more expensive. Let's put our O-ring back over there. All right, we're gonna pop the seal out of here real quick. Got a 17 millimeter deep socket just on my vise. We can just tap that out. There we have it. I'm just going to take a tiny little bit of grease, oil, anything, just something to kind of lube the outside of this seal. Keep in mind we're going to install this with our open end with the little metal uh, ring down in there facing up. So. It's going to go in just like this from this direction and pretty much I'm just going to set this thing down in here and I'm going to see if I can just push it in by hand because I'm pretty sure that I can. Well I got it started 
but we might need a little bit of extra push to get it all the way seated. So here's what I'm going to do to press this seal in. So I went over, took my old seal, sized it up to this socket, put the socket onto some extensions backwards, so it'll kind of locate it in the middle there a little bit. And it's also just because of the shape of the back side of the socket, it tends to sit a little bit nicer on there. So we can get that under there and then give this just a little push. And there we have it. We are seated in where we need to be. And we're down past this point here, so our impeller isn't going to cut up that seal. So now we can press our new bearings and our shaft and everything back into the housing here. Before we do that though, I'm going to put just a little bit of grease on this here, just so that we make sure everything goes together nice and smoothly. That we don't have any issues with that shaft going through that seal. So, let's get that onto there, and pretty much now we're just going to press this thing on home. Now, one point that is worth mentioning, some of the kits that you'll see and some of these pumps have a little tiny brass washer, it's super super thin, that goes right here before you put the impeller on. So it just acts as a little bit of a barrier for that seal so that if you have an impeller failure or something, pieces of this rubber don't get down in and cut that seal. Now, the sad part is I have not seen a pump that still has one of those and really I haven't seen many issues. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna put this fresh impeller in our little foam seal, and then this thing will be ready to go back out on the water. There we have it. This pump is fully rebuilt, new bearings, new seals, and a new impeller. This thing is ready to go for a good long time now. So hopefully this has been helpful to you resolving your leaky Johnson pump or Indmar Ilmore pump on your ski boat. Now keep in mind, you can just change that seal and leave your bearings alone. You can even do that without pressing the bearings out of the housing. You just have to get down in there with like some drywall screws or something yank that old seal out and push a new one on and that might get you a few more years i would just go ahead for the money rebuild the pump or if you're leery of rebuilding it yourself grab a replacement pump all the stuff you need to do this is down in the description as well as in the pinned comment so you can try this on your ski boat thanks for watching